Hi, I'm Adam Gopnik, and I'm here to welcome you today to our screening, um, online or in person, of uh, Jacques Tourneur's 1956 film noir classic, Nightfall, as part of our series, uh, Out of the Dark, The Mystery of Film Noir. Um, this is one of the two great film noir that Jacques Tourneur made. Our theme in this series is very much about the Franco-American dialogue in film noir, how the um, dark suspense movies, largely B and C movies made by uh, American and very often uh, German emigre, German Jewish emigre filmmakers in the 1940s uh, got organized by uh, French film critics into a specific genre, what we now call film noir, and then how this dialogue went back and forth between America and France for 20 extraordinarily fertile years. Jacques Tourneur is a significant figure in this story because he is one of the few who is actually a French filmmaker resident in America who then, at the end of his life, goes back to France. Though his name is Jacques Tourneur, he is known in Hollywood as Jack Turner um, and the simplest kind of transliteration of his name. And he makes, as I said, uh, a series of films, ends his career in a kind of descant on American television, but along the way, he makes two classic film noirs, Out of the Past with Robert Mitchum and Jane Greer, which may be, is indeed, in my view, the greatest of all film noir. And then this one, Nightfall in 1956, the year I was born, actually, um, with Aldo Ray and Anne Bancroft. Um, Nightfall is, if we may say it this way, typical Turner in a couple of ways. One, because of the extraordinary um, expressionist uh, mise-en-scene of the filmmaking, the play of dark and light, that Caravaggio like chiaroscuro, which seems to us so definitive a film noir. And uh, in another way, because of his uh, fascination with flashback storytelling, which is a very powerful part of Out of the Past, and his unusual and very telling fascination with the dialogue between city and country. You may recall that Out of the Past, which we'll see later, um, is all about uh, the Robert Mitchum's character's attempt to escape into the country away from the city. In a very similar way here, the snow scenes uh, in Nightfall where the uh, outer character attempts to escape are always counterpoised against the, the corruption and fascination of the city. Um, the film is based on a novel, a noir novel, by David Goodis, who was a pulp writer of the 1940s and 50s, resident in my uh, original hometown of Philadelphia, a very improbable place for an American writer to reside and drawing on that experience. Uh, Goodis was um, almost entirely forgotten um, until very recently when his um, collection of his noir novels were republished in Library of American, the American Pleiad, uh, something that uh, I'm engaged in that's based on the French series. I always like to mention the original novelist um, for the same reason I always urge uh, my friend Melissa Errico to mention the original lyricist. Um, above all, it's a showcase nightfall for Aldo Ray and Anne Bancroft. One of the great things about film noir is that it gives second-tier actors a chance to shine in dark parts, and um, there's never been a more complicated, sensual, nervous, intellectual doomed figure than the one Anne Bancroft inhabits, and the Aldo Ray character, again, uh, a B actor playing a B part, uh, was so powerful that it inspired Quentin Tarantino's um, idea for the Bruce Willis character in Pulp Fiction. Um, all of the things we love about film noir are present in Nightfall, including a quite good song sung by Al Hibbler that the next time we do our noir program, uh, we ought to include and may. So please enjoy uh, 1956 Jacques Teneur, Nightfall. <laughs> 